fight commentary breakdowns. This guy right here, you can't really see him clearly. But this is the Wing Chun opponent that fought Xu Xiaodong. Remember that fight? The MMA versus Wing Chun fight? And this guy, remember this guy? This is Shifu, aka the instructor, the master of this guy. He's the one that fought the one-armed boxer. So he said he lost to Xu Xiaodong because the match was rigged. He felt like he wouldn't be able to leave if he won. This guy said they didn't eat enough. A lot of people have probably seen these fights, but they didn't know that this, now you guys could probably see it more. A lot of people didn't realize that it was these two Wing Chun people. I wanted to bring it to you guys, just so you guys can see why Xu Xiaodong wanted to take them on, because Xu Xiaodong called him a fraud, so I'm sure if you show this to Xu Xiaodong, Xu Xiaodong would say something like, these fights were rigged, these fights were set up. This is the Kyukushin fighter, and this is the Taekwondo fighter. So the Taekwondo fighter fights the Wing Chun master, Yu Chenghua, and the Ding Hao, the, the guy who fought Xu Xiaodong, is going to fight the Kyukushin. So let's watch Xu Xiaodong's opponent first fight the Kyukushin guy. Starts with a flurry of punches. Ooh, he threw some kicks too. You notice, guys, they're the same size it looks like. Unlike during the Xu Xiaodong fight, Xu Xiaodong was definitely big. Ooh, taken down. Okay. So funny. They say fights end up on the ground, right? 70% of fights or 80%. That was an example. So this Kyukushin guy is not throwing kicks, man. Kyukushin has those deadly kicks of the face. And also, the Kyukushin guy is probably not used to getting punched to the head because Kyukushin doesn't allow punches to the head. And Wing Chun guy is just punching him in the head. Oh, Kyukushin's trying to do a kind of an arm bar. Not really an arm bar because the, the, his left leg is nowhere to be found, so... He forgot how to do an arm bar, but he's the, um, he, I guess he's using his legs as a shield now, kind of. Wow, Ding Hao is dominating him, man. Oh, look at that, raining those punches. So, if you watch this, you would think Wing Chun's very effective, that Ding Hao has skill. So, what do you guys think, man? Was this rigged or was the Kyukushin guy just really, really bad? And now you know he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know how to get out of side control, right? Practice this every day, man. Practice a shrimp out, shrimp in, and practice framing and be able to get out of this. Oh, oh. So that's all, man. That's it. That's, of course, the Wing Chun master that said he wasn't fed enough before his fight with the one-armed boxer. So knowing... He got destroyed by Xu Xiaodong. These Kyukushin guys would have gotten even more destroyed. So what I don't know is whether these Kyukushin guys are Chinese Kyukushin or Japanese Kyukushin. Because if they're Japanese Kyukushin, they should go back to Japan and train harder. Because the fact that he lost on the ground to a Wing Chun fighter who doesn't know anything on the ground either is kind of, kind of funny in a way. So now this is the coach, the guy who wasn't fed enough by Xu Xiaodong's crew. Fighting a Taekwondo guy. So, Taekwondo guy is small, man, because our our Wing Chun master guy is very small. So, ate a punch to the face. Hey, just like when he fought the boxer, right? Uh, he's like, ah, oh, I don't feel it, man. So, what is the Taekwondo guy going? He's going, os, 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 os. okay, bad impression of Japanese people. Um, I guess they're talking about rules, okay. You can hit me on the on the face. Uh, bad Japanese accent. But okay, here we go. He's fainting. What is he doing? Like cha cha moves. Um. So our Wing Chun guy, man, your hands are a little low. Didn't you learn from the first time you got punched in the face? Ooh, okay. It looks like this is more of a point fighting than the previous time. The previous time with Kyukushin and Ding Hao. It was kind of, they were they were doing fighting until someone gave up, but this is more point fighting. Huh. Not as interesting as the previous fight, man. So, if this is the only fight that our Wing Chun Master had, no wonder he lost so badly to the boxer. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that's kind of almost exactly how he fought the boxer. Just kind of like spamming little slaps. You don't see much Wing Chun, really. This, this Master's not throwing much Wing Chun. Look at that. 
Hmm. I'm just going to go on a whim and say the guy who fought Shu Xiaodong, the guy in Black Ding Hall, is actually more skilled than his own master. He probably would never admit it, but this master that taught him, this guy cannot fight at all, man. He at least, if you saw him scrapping with the Kyukushin guy, and even with Shu Xiaodong, he had some heart. Like, this guy doesn't have basic knowledge. Huh. What do you guys think, man? Who's the better fighter, the student or the master? Also, um, I noticed something earlier. I'm going to show you guys really quickly. So I'm going to slow this down. Look at that. Every time our Wing Chun master kicked, why is that hand going? What is this? What is that hand doing? Like, you're throwing a low kick. There's no reason your hand should be swinging back like that. Like, this guy has no sense of kind of any kind of positioning in his body. Like, anyone that's trained to kick, like even me, I cannot fight to save my life. But even when I kick a low kick, I'm not going to swing my arm this back like that. Look at this. So, man, when I noticed that earlier, I, I was going to point it out, but the, the fight just moved too quickly. It was like, whoa. So, and I mean, I haven't been looking at the Taekwondo guy. If you guys have been observing the Taekwondo guy, let me know what you see in his fight style. But, I mean, he's Taekwondo, right? And if it's a Chinese Taekwondo school, it's probably really watered down. You know, they're probably just always kicking. No, no sense of, like, punches at all. Although he did give a pretty good punch in the beginning to our Wing Chun master. What's really interesting about this fight is that I, I just don't see much Wing Chun in this master besides... Like, that's not even Wing Chun. That's just like little kids smacking each other. But besides his stance, the only thing I see in Wing Chun is, is the master's stance. And maybe that you saw a little bit. But like once there's pressure turned on him, look at that. Look at that. And then his student has to stop. <laughs> so, I mean, it's no surprise that he couldn't beat a one-armed boxer. Like, this dude, I will agree with Shu Xiaodong, this dude's most likely a fraud. His student, on the other hand, Ding Hao, looked like he could fight, man. It's just, I mean, from this Kyukushin fight, it really looked like he could fight. But, I mean, I guess Shu Xiaodong's just another level, right? Shu Xiaodong's been punched in the head a lot of times. That's why he's so freaking disrespectful. Like... A lot of people say he's disrespectful because the Chinese martial arts community is so mean to him, which is true. I think he's just disrespectful because he's been punched in the head too much. You get punched in the head too much, you kind of just like run by your emotions. You're more impulsive, right? So I will say that Ding Hao is probably, knowing this, he's probably sparred a lot. But sparring your fellow traditional martial artists is not the same as sparring someone crazy like Xu Xiaodong. That's my opinion. So as much as I want to hate on him, I at least give him some credit. Like, he's he's also using Wing Chun in this, by the way. Like, he's actually using Wing Chun in this fight against the Kyukushin guy. Unlike his master here. Like, see, he's like, he's trying to do all, he's throwing punches all over. And, you know, I see chops. See, I, did you see that he threw a, he threw an oblique kick? Which is a very Wing Chun thing. And, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to do some of the, you can call it the standing grappling or whatever. There we go, man, guys. I wanted to show you guys more on the Wing Chun people because a lot of the comments on those Wing Chun videos, especially the ones with Shu Xiaodong fighting the Wing Chun guys, was like, oh, those are real Wing Chun people. And I wanted to investigate it more. And it looks like, I will agree with everyone, this master, the guy who fought the one on Boxer, the one who complained about food, I think any one of my audience can beat this guy. Ding Ho, on the other hand, I think he does, he can fight. He's just... Not as conditioned, it's not as skilled as, let's say, a boxer, an MMA, or a Muay Thai fighter. So that's what I think, guys. What do you guys think? Also, does this Kyukushin school need to close down because they lost to the Wing Chun guys? I don't know. What do you guys think, man? I, by the way, I want to give a big shout out to my viewer, Paris, because he got his one of his black belts, I believe, in Kyukushin. So he was telling me about this fight, and I was like, dude, you know that's the opponent that Shu Xiaodong fought. So, Paris, thank you. By the way, if you guys want to see Paris on my channel, Paris will come on my channel soon. So, talk to you guys soon. A lot more good stuff to come.